السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته الحمد لله رب العالمين الصلاة والصلاة سيد الأنبياء والمرسلين وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين أما بعد أشهد لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله All praise to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who created all of us and brought us together uh, Allah is, is the Rahman, is the Rahim is the Malik, is the Qudus is al wakil last time we discussed the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, al wakil he is the one who manage he is the one who, who suffices he is the one who control everything and the people who believe and who believe in wakil is the uh, tawakkal those are the people who call tawakkal there are three levels of tawakkal that i want to remind myself uh, first the first is is the one uh, that uh, if we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala something and uh, we don't get that, right? And if I ask for the better position, if I ask for the better car, or a bigger house or some, anything, and uh, we ask for that and uh, we don't get that right away, right? And so the tawakkal is the level one is we suffer on it. Like we, we be just patient and we said, just a lucky person. That's the level one. The level two are the one that we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the dua. And uh, we do our deed, like uh, the, it does not mean just to do the dua, you need to work for that, but still we don't get it. And that's the second level that you're content. Content is you are okay with it. You're not just sabr, you're just a little bit above. I'm okay with it. Right? This is the second level. The third level, which is which is the, the level that we all should try or strive for it, is the level that uh, when we ask, we work hard and we pray a lot, and still we don't get it. The ulamas who reach that level, they said they are more happy. They are more happy than if they get it. And the reason they say, it's because the, the dua that I was asking, it was my choice. It was what I wanted. It was my plan. But the plan that Allah made and the choice that He made is always better than what I have. So that's why the level three is the one that we will try to achieve in the work of that. Even though if we don't get it, let's suppose if I have the uh, store and I, I, I want to have the good sale and like big production and it happens, that's great. But even though on the days when it's not happened, we should be content and we should be trust on Allah that still I'm as happy as if I had the hundred thousand dollar sale or the zero sale. That's the level three of talk. Alhamdulillah, we are in the Zulhaj, uh, the month of the Zulhaj. Uh, it's, it's, uh, it's the 10 best days of the year. SubhanAllah. And uh, as we plan to like when we, this is the graduation season, right? Every Everybody get the invitation for the graduation. And I'm pretty sure we all had the graduation of our kids and we plan for it for a, for a week or for a month. Uh, the weddings we plan for a week or a month. Uh, that's the same way we should be planning for our Zulhaj, the first 10 days. The first 10 days are the most important days of the year. And that's what's uh, said by the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that has been mentioned in the Quran. Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala mentioned in uh, Surah Fajr. Well, Fajr wa liya'al al means Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala swearing. He's saying that these 10 days, he's swearing by these 10 days. These 10 days Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam mentioned why it is so important because in these 10 days, any deed, any good deeds that we do is most beloved to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in these 10 days other than any other days that we do. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa used the word ahab, abzal, adam, like, eh, like the word that he not used in any other ahadith. Like it's the most beloved to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So any deed that we do in these 10 days, they are they are virtue, the level of virtue is very high. The third 
reason why this Zilhaj 10 days is, is very important is this is the month where the, our pillar of Islam is all pillars are together. Shahada we can do every day. Salah we can do every day. We can do zakat only in a certain period of time or you can divide it throughout the year. But uh, Roza or Siyam you can do in Ramadan. But this is only the month that you can do the Hajj. That's why these 10 days is very important. Because you're all pillars of Islam, pillars that you consider for any building, for the stability, that pillars are all completed in this. The fourth reason with, is, is the Yom al Arafah is in this 10 days too. And the Yom al Arafah is, is a great day for us, for, for the Abdullah, like unlucky slaves, is because we can get away from the hell by asking the forgiveness to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Another important reason is in this 10 days, the most important day of the year is there. That is the Eid, Yom Ta. That is the most important day of the year. So these 10 days, now we know the virtues, that how important it is. What should we do? And how we can maximize, like like investment, how can we use our time to get the most out of it? Before we do any, any uh, like before we go to the med school, before we do the, uh, any education that you want to go, you have some prerequisites, you have to do it. So the most important prerequisite for any Ibadah, uh, especially in, the, in this month, is to clean your heart make sure we have a clean heart when we go for the ibadah, when we start our uh, ibadah. It means we do not have any ill feelings about each other. Uh, more closer the relationship is, more responsibilities that we have. And there are times that you may have some ill feelings between the brothers, between the sisters, between your family. Clean it up. All it takes is just to call out the WhatsApp or the text. Then, assalamu alaikum. I'm happy. I'm content I'm good with you and let's start new. that's it you don't have to be a best friend right away but you are doing it not for that person maybe that person is not deserve your good relationship with you. but you're not doing for him you're not doing for them you're doing for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala your matter is between you and Allah not with them that's the prayer because that's the first thing we need to do because the Prophet Muhammad mentioned that like we know that every Monday and Thursday our amal goes to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But let how do you feel when we work for the week or two weeks but we don't get paid? You get agitated, right? And the reason is not the employer fault, it's your that you did not fill up your paperwork. Wow. We we really our bills messed up, a lot of problem can happen. Exactly the same. Our amal goes to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala every Monday and Thursdays. But it's being hold for the people who do not have the good feeling among each other. Who have the ill feeling among each other. So just clean it up. Because if you want to get paid for your whole week work, like we come in the Fajr, we come in the Isha, we do the Zikr and everything. But you don't get paid because we did not fill up the form. So make sure, clean it up. Just give the text. Just call them. Say, I'm okay, how are you? Just slowly. You don't need to even say, mention the previous things. Sanko, how are you doing? Inshallah, we'll talk soon. That's it. It's time. That, that's the most important thing that we need to do. There are a few other things that we, uh, we should be looking into and maximizing these 10 days. Is First is the Salah. Right? Uh, Alhamdulillah, uh, the people who pray the Salah on time, that's a blessing. Uh, those who do not try to do that on time, uh, the people who are at home, sisters, they, they can do it right when the salah happens. Do it, make one place at the home dedicated as a musallah for them so they can do that over there. Uh, the kids join the parents to the jama'ah if they cannot come to the masjid, but we should strive and 
try to be you know, on mass, especially in the Fajr and in the Isha. And we already already passed half of the Azul Hajj. So at least we can try remaining half to do the Fajr and the Isha in the Jama'at. Not just the first, but the Sunnah also. Because it's a, it's a putsi that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when it looks our teeth and say, okay, so namaz is there, but there is a void in, the, in, in his namaz. How can we fill that void? And the only way we can fill the void is by the accessories that we have with the sunnah or the namaz. So don't neglect the sunnah. Try to, try to be proactive. Try to be plan ahead and do the sunnah also. Other sunnah that we can revive uh, or we can do it is, is the zikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Right? The best zikr is uh, takbir. Right? Uh, Abu Bakr and Abu Harara used to uh, go into the market and during these 10 days and say loudly, Allah, Akbar, Allah, Akbar, La ilaha illallah, Allah, Akbar, Allah, Akbar, Walillah, Alhamdulillah. But we, at this time, we don't do that. So, if you don't do it loud as a jama, it's okay. As long as you're coming to the mosque and going out of the mosque, do most of the time. It's loud enough that it reminds the other person to do that. And you get reward. And whenever he do it and whenever he say to somebody else, you get reward automatically. So these are the simple stuff that we can do. For zikr, we don't have to do even the wadu. So it's simple and easy. You can do it when you're driving, when you are going home, you are... Even if you are working at home, they can keep doing the zikr and do the work. Or when you are working at workplace, put the earpod on and listen to the zikr. By listening, it's reminding you to keep doing it also when you are working. It. Now, Alhamdulillah, we have such a smart devices, we can take the advantage of it for our benefit rather than against us. That's the another th thing that uh, we can do. The, the other good deed that we can do, the longest deed, what could be the longest deed that we can do in this time if also Hajj days is the Rosa, the Sayam, right? That uh, it's a deed from the sunrise to the sunset and it's a, it's a good deed and this is a deed that is just for the Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And if we do the Rosa for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah ta'ala, uh, promise us that it will take us away 70 years from the hell, like the distance of the 70 years from hell. So we should be try to do the road, uh, road as much as we can. Uh, there's a two different uh, hadith in that respect. One is saying that Prophet Muhammad never missed the hadith. The other hadith is saying he never did that. But both hadith is sahih. So the, the conclusion according to the ulama is we can do the uh, Rosa in these 10 days as much as we can, especially in the day of Arafah. And the reason of day of Arafah is, is if we do the uh, Rosa for the sake of Allah on the day of Arafah, two years of the minor sins has been wiped off, it's been cleaned up. So make sure, inshallah, that we should all do the Rosa in this uh, day of Arafah, inshallah. Allah Ta'ala protect us all, give us the tawfiq to do all the good deeds and maximize these 10 days, the remaining 10 days, uh, whatever we have left, inshallah Ta'ala. Sadqa is also the one thing that we can do and some of my friends I know, they are very good planner uh, in the life and hereafter too, I can say because uh, even though they do the $100, Sadqa for the whole 10 days together, they divide it every day, 10 days, 10, $10 per day, 10 euro per day, they send the money to back home uh, because uh, we all have the links with our family in the back home and we all have the people, they need help and they give the money to the source and they say, don't pass it on right now, when the Zilhaj start, then start giving every day, little by little. This is a planning. If we do plan for the stuff that we that we know, we see the results, we do that in the, in the world, the, but the best is the hereafter. 
and that's what we need to plan and sadhai is the only money that you can deposit now and withdraw there anything we do it we can deposit how much money we can deposit in any accounts it doesn't matter we're not going to take it with us the only money that we can withdraw is is the sadhai and the charity that we can do so may allah give us a tawfiq to do all the good deeds in these 10 days and and after that for the remaining 355 days and uh, make us among the people to whom allah taala give the books on the right hand and uh, keep the love amongst us i mean so